Project 11C, draw blood using a butterfly needle. Using the venipuncture trainer to simulate drawing blood and follow the steps as if in a real clinical situation. Before starting this phlebotomy procedure, first, greet the patient and introduce yourself. Pause to confirm that you have positively identified the correct patient and that you are performing the correct procedure. Second, ask the patient questions regarding possible allergies, bleeding disorders, etc., and ensure that your patient is in a comfortable and suitable position for the procedure. Third, verify relevant information like fasting, dietary restrictions, and medication, and note the answers on the lab requisition form. Now, follow these steps. Start by opening a clean work surface cover, then gather, open, and assemble the relevant items and equipment on the cover. Set out all the tubes you will need by the order of the draw. Firmly attach the free end of the butterfly needle tubing, either to the vacutainer hub or to the syringe. In this demonstration, the phlebotomist will use a vacutainer hub and a 21-gauge butterfly needle. Perform hand hygiene. Select the site by inspection and palpation, preferably at the cubital area. Temporarily apply a tourniquet to facilitate vein selection if necessary. When ready to draw the blood, apply the tourniquet about four to five finger widths above the selected venipuncture site. Ask the patient to form a fist to make the veins more prominent. Don't ask the patient to pump the fist. Don clean, non-sterile gloves. Disinfect the site using an alcohol prep swab for 30 seconds. Allow it to dry completely for 30 seconds. Do not touch the site once the alcohol has been applied. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm and placing the thumb of the opposite hand below the venipuncture site. Gently bend the two wings of the butterfly together and hold between the thumb and index finger of your dominant hand. Ensure that the bevel of the needle is facing up. Enter the vein swiftly at a 15 degree to 30 degree angle. Watch carefully for the flashback of blood appearing in the tube lumen, indicating a successful venipuncture. Temporarily stabilize the needle by placing a strapping over the two wings onto the skin. Firmly press the vacutainer tubes into the vacutainer hub and fill the tubes in the correct order. It is unlikely that the butterfly needle will slip out of the vein. Allow the tube to fill and then remove it from the hub when the blood flow stops. Then, remove the filled tube by holding the hub securely and pulling the tube off the needle inside the hub. If the tube used has additives, mix the contents by gently inverting tube five to eight times. Do not shake. Fill remaining tubes and repeat the mixing routine after each tube has been filled. Once sufficient blood has been collected, release the tourniquet before withdrawing the needle. Withdraw the needle gently and place a clean gauze or dry cotton wool ball with strapping to the site. Apply with firm pressure to achieve hemostasis and avoid a hematoma. Inspect the site after two to three minutes to ensure that the patient has stopped bleeding. Discard sharps, the used needles, broken glass, and syringe or blood sampling device into a puncture-resistant sharps container. Place items such as used gloves and all items contaminated with blood or bodily fluids into the infectious waste. Check labels and forms for accuracy. Perform hand hygiene. View a clinical example of this procedure. You may notice slight differences in the procedural steps due to individual preference or variation in protocol.
Go ahead and use your venipuncture trainer for this purpose and have fun.